All right, let's talk finance. For decades, the spreadsheet has been king. No question. But there's always been this one big bottleneck, right? The human analyst just clicking away at cells. Well, today, we're going to look at how AI is smashing that bottleneck. And it's not by getting rid of the spreadsheet. No way. It's by moving right inside it, becoming this incredible, super-powered co-pilot. So here's the game plan for today. First up, we'll dig into the massive challenge finance pros are facing, just the sheer amount of data. Then we'll meet the AI co-pilot that literally lives inside Excel. We're going to see how it connects to live market data, how it learns these crazy complex new skills, and, this is the good part, what the big players like Citi and Visa are saying about it. And we'll wrap up by asking a pretty big question. What happens when every single analyst gets a super brain on their team? Okay, so first things first, let's really nail down the core problem here. You know, the entire world of finance runs on data, but the amount of data we have now, it's just exploding. It's an absolute fire hose. And the one thing that hasn't changed one bit, the number of hours in a day. That right there, that's the human bottleneck. And this really leads us to the billion dollar question, doesn't it? The one everyone is asking. I mean, it's one thing for an AI to, you know, write a poem or answer some trivia, but can it really handle the insane complexity of modern finance? We're talking about all the nuance, all the interconnected parts, and the kind of high stakes accuracy where there's just zero room for error. Think about the daily grind for a financial analyst. It's just brutal. They are literally wading through this endless flood of market data, earnings reports, news feeds. Then they get bogged down in these super repetitive, time-consuming tasks, like building financial models from the ground up. And all of this is happening under immense, constant pressure, where one tiny mistake in a single cell formula, whoa, it could have absolutely massive consequences. Okay, so what's the solution? Well, instead of forcing analysts to learn some brand new, complicated platform, the genius idea here is to bring the AI directly to them, to put it right on their home turf, the spreadsheet. And this is it. It's called Claude for Excel. Just picture this. You've got this expert assistant living in a sidebar right next to your cells and formulas. It can read your data, analyze it, and even build entire workbooks completely from scratch. But here's the most important part full transparency. It shows you its work, every single step, so you are always, always in control. And get this, using it is designed to be ridiculously simple. Seriously, you just open your workbook and you ask Claude a question in plain English. Something like, hey, can you find the mistake in my cash flow projection? And then you just watch. You watch it analyze, fix, or build whatever you need. So let's get into the nitty gritty. What can this thing actually do? Well, for starters, it can take some crazy complex model you've never seen before and just explain it to you in simple terms. It's like a detective. It can hunt down and fix broken formulas. And critically, it understands how all the cells are linked together so it doesn't mess up your hard work. It can even take your templates and fill them with new data or build a brand new spreadsheet just from a simple text command. It's wild. Okay, but let's be real. A spreadsheet, no matter how smart, is only as good as the data you feed it. And in finance, things change in a split second. So the next huge leap forward is plugging this AI directly into the live beating heart of the market. And the way they do this is with something called connectors. The best way to think of them is like secure high-speed pipelines. They feed real-time information directly into the AI from all these different financial databases, news feeds, and expert platforms. This basically transforms your spreadsheet from, you know, a static calculator into a living, breathing, dynamic dashboard. So what kind of live data are we talking about here? Well, through connectors to services like LSEG, Claude can pull in live stock prices, FX rates, you name it. Then with Moody's, it gets access to critical credit ratings and data on hundreds of millions of companies. And with MT Newswires, it's getting the latest global financial news the second it breaks. It's all happening in real time. And this is amazing. It goes way beyond just the raw numbers. With connectors to platforms like Ayera and ThirdBridge, the AI can actually analyze real-time earnings calls and sift through thousands of expert interviews. So what does that mean? It's like having an entire army of research analysts on call 24-7 living right inside your spreadsheet. All right, so Claude has the right tool, Excel, and it has the live data. The next step? teaching it what to actually do with all that power. This is where it really levels up, where it goes from being a helpful assistant to a true agent that can handle complex, multi-step jobs all on its own. And this is done using something Anthropic calls agent skills. 
The easiest way to think about a skill is like a detailed playbook. It's basically a folder that has all the instructions, scripts, and resources the AI needs to pull off a really sophisticated financial task from start to finish, autonomously. So what kinds of tasks are we talking about? We're not just talking about simple math here. We're talking about automating a full discounted cash flow model. That's a core valuation technique from scratch. Or how about processing thousands of documents in a data room during due diligence? It can even draft the first version of a research report on a new stock. I mean, these are workflows that would normally take a human analyst days, if not weeks, to complete. Okay, this all sounds incredible in theory, right? But the real question is, is it actually working out there in the wild? Let's take a look at what some of the absolute biggest names in finance are saying now that they're using these tools. So what does the real world impact actually look like? Well, the efficiency gains are just massive. For example, one tech company reported that its engineers are saving 8 to 10 plus hours every single week. That's by using an AI agent to help with their coding. That's a full workday back in their pocket every week to focus on the really tough problems. Now look at Citi. They point to two really key things here, capability and trust. They talk about the AI's agentic abilities, which is just a fancy way of saying its power to handle complex jobs by itself. But they immediately pair that with a focus on safety and reliability. And in banking, that's just, it's completely non-negotiable. Then you've got a company like Coinbase. For them, performance and security are everything. This quote really drives home the point that this tool isn't just some fun experiment. It's actually meeting and beating the super tough technical and security benchmarks you need to operate in the crypto world. That's a huge deal. And then there's Visa. They touch on what is maybe the most important part of this whole thing, responsible AI. I mean, for any big company, data privacy is concern number one. This quote highlights that this isn't just about tech. It's about a shared commitment to things like consent and transparency. You have to have that to build long-term trust. So let's step back for a second. When you put all of these pieces together, the AI living inside the tools people already use, the connection to live data, the new automated skills, and the validation from industry giants, what does this all mean for the future of finance? While the impact is spreading like wildfire across the entire organization, this tech might have started in the back office helping engineers with code, but now it's moving into the middle office for things like risk and compliance, and it's even hitting the front office to help with client experience. It's basically becoming the new operating system for a modern financial firm. And look, there's hard data to back all of this up. There's this really tough industry test, the VALS AI Finance Benchmark, and it basically throws complex real-world financial problems at AIs to see how they do. And the latest version of Claude? It scored the highest, showing it has state-of-the-art accuracy. So this isn't just about saving time. It's about performing at an elite level. Which brings us to one last really powerful question to think about. If you can free up every analyst from that 80% of their job that's just tedious data gathering and formatting, and you give them an intelligent co-pilot to handle the super complex modeling, what becomes possible then? What new ideas, what new strategies, what new insights can they uncover? That is the next financial frontier, and we are just barely beginning to explore it. 